Michael here in the studio. It is time for some science on WTO 11 your day. Something we've been talking about the past couple of days. We will be today clouds. Sarah Neff from the Imagination Station is here to show us how to make a cloud in a bottle. Love it. Yes. Let's see how it's done, Sarah. All right. Well, Chris, I thought that you would enjoy this being a weatherman of and all. Of course. Um, so we actually need three things to make a cloud. We need moisture. Of course. We need particulate matter. Of course. Which is just fancy words for... For dust or pollen or anything that's very microscopic in the atmosphere. Right. And then we need a change in pressure or temperature. Yes, we do. Okay. So we're actually going to do both of those things today to make a cloud. All right. So we're going to start out. We have a two liter bottle here and I have a little bit of rubbing alcohol in the bottom. That's going to be our moisture moisture today. Okay. And we're going to use a bike pump to actually change the pressure within our bottle. Just like you okay. pump up a bike tire? Yeah. Okay. So our um, bike pump is a little bit different. We've added a stopper on the end so that we get a really good seal on the top of our <laughs> bottle here. And this is actually an experiment that you could try at home. Okay. So, all right, I've got that in there and now I want you to start pumping to increase the pressure. Now, like I said, we have moisture, we have that particulate matter, and we're increasing the pressure. So we have all of the components that we need to make a cloud, but I'm not seeing a cloud yet, are you? Not seeing anything yet. Okay, so maybe a few more pumps and we'll get what we need there. Okay, I'm not seeing it. So maybe, maybe we don't have a good enough seal. <laughs> there we go. There is our cloud. Just like that. So it wasn't necessarily a high pressure situation that created our cloud when we pressurized the bottle. As soon as we released our pump. Right. Oh, I spilled my cloud. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we pulled out the pump, we created a dramatic change in the pressure. Decrease in the pressure yes. very rapidly. So this would be like a low pressure day. It would be cloudy outside, yes. right? Yes, it would. Now, what if it was a high pressure day though? So I'm gonna put this back in and go ahead and okay. pump that a few more times. There we go. Yep, now watch our cloud. And we'll see it quickly start to disappear as we increase the increase the pressure. And now we have a high pressure day. Love when Pretty weather cool. and science, they go hand in hand. And when they meet in an experiment like this, right? it's very cool to watch. Very cool. So one Instant more cloud small again. cloud. All right. I'm going to put a lid on this, trap our cloud in there. We're going to set that aside. Okay. Now, of course, being the imagination station, we can't just do one and done, right? We'll we always just have stop to do there. it bigger, right? right? So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use liquid nitrogen, which we have used many times before, right? We know that it's negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. So look at you getting your safety glasses on. Ready to go. You're supposed to remind me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get my liquid nitrogen out of here. And we can see that it is boiling. It's changing from a liquid into a gas very, very quickly. So we're gonna add this to the moisture in our bottle. Okay. We've got that particulate matter all around us in the air. So I'm gonna add in the liquid nitrogen. All right, now we see a little something happening, but go ahead and give that bottle a shake. All right, shake it harder. There you go. So we want a really, really big cloud. Now we can see it kind of falling all around the studio, right? But it, it puffed pretty good. It did. Now we use our change in temperature to create this cloud because we went from negative 320 degrees to I have warm water in here that's probably about 80 degrees. Gotcha. So that's almost 400 degrees different, right? Wow. Yeah. So let's do it again. So pressure was over here, the yep. change of temperature right here. Yep. And our constant was that we always had moisture and particulate matter present. Yeah. Right. All right. So go ahead and shake your cloud up again. Perfect. Pretty amazing, one of my favorite experiments. Love it. Yeah. Easy to see it happening, and that's what you guys are about at the Imagination Station. Yes. You basically take the science lessons and you make them fun and exciting for the kids. Always. What's happening with you guys coming up here? You're talking summer camps. We are. We have summer camp registration is open right now, and that's starting June 16th. We have three themes this year. We have super splatter science, survival science, and then our newest camp is called Behind the Mask, and that's superhero science. Lots to be had and oh, yes. registration is going on right now for yep. all those camps that are going to start just as the kids are letting out of school. Yep. Sarah, thank you so much for thank that. You. If you feel like you're in a cloud this morning, you're not <laughs> alone. Coming up, we're going to have a check of your certified most accurate forecast.